This week's breaking news, it's finally time for Christmas. Lego is doing another gift with purchase. They have some botanicals on the way. You might be able to get your hands on an OLED brick and a bunch more news just before your Christmas time. So stick around. But first I wanna talk about a really cool store, a brick monarch shop. This website is designed for all those AFLs out there that are looking for some great t-shirts with classic logos, some home decor you can put on your walls such as shields and some other great iconic aspects from the Lego history. You can head over to the link in our description for Brick Monarch Shop and you can get a discount of 10% off using Back to Brick 10. That's Back to Brick 10, the number two. So head over there so you can get some really cool AFL swag. All right, now let's get to the breaking news. Lego. 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 Breaking news. Breaking hey everybody, news. welcome back Breaking to Back news. to Brick. I'm your host, Garrett, and this is the podcast where we talk with fellow AFLs about their Lego designs, and we get down to the Breaking News every week to talk about, well, all things Lego has been working on for the past week. Thank you for tuning in for all those Lego studs that are repeat guests. Thank you for coming on and listening to me babble on. And for all those new, thank you for... Well, taking the time to listen to me. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. You can do that on any of your favorite podcast listening apps or services. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about, well, Christmas time. It is time for the Christmas season. It is the 23rd of December, which is uh, Christmas Eve Eve, um, which I don't know if you do anything. Usually... We, we don't do anything, but we, we are now going to be with our families and going to have our Christmases with both our families because we live so close to each other, which is nice, and we can escape from one to the other if we need to. It does happen on occasions, but uh, it gives us time to break up the trip, and that's nice. Um, I'm excited for this Christmas as we have a lot of uh, fun things we're going to be doing. We have a dinner with my family, then we have the Christmas Eve dinner with my wife's family, then we have Christmas Day, which I don't know, Christmas Day is kind of weird, and then we have a Christmas party with my extended family on the 26th. It's another busy time for travel, as I've already said that we've been traveling all month. Today is one of my last days in our home for December, as it's, I think, our sixth or seventh day here out of the month, so it's been extra busy. I'm excited to see what the new year brings. I have a lot of things planned. I'm trying to still find a job, so that's something, but I really want to sit down and try to figure out what I want to do with this channel. I think this is my opportunity, and the universe is kind of telling me, hey, it's time to take this seriously and understand that this could be a, a big and bright future and this is no, this is the time to do it. So I hope that you guys will stick around and see the journey and I gotta just be dedicated and kind of force some of my other hobbies to the side and focus more and more on this. But that's it for me babbling on. Thank you again and I wish you a Merry Christmas and we're gonna continue right now as we jump into the breaking news, which it's a lot this uh, this week, so stick around. And we're also gonna be doing my five favorite sets for the Christmas time, so let's jump into it. First thing, there's a new gift with purchase coming in January and it's another callback for the 90th anniversary of the Lego group. And this one is a callback to Blacktron, which is Blacktron Cruiser, which is a spaceship style. Again, this one's later than the classic spaceship that we saw rebuild for the 90th anniversary. This one is gonna be a gift with purchase. I'm guessing probably at least $150. It's a, it has a minifigure. It does have a really cool spaceship style, all in black, of course. And the logos on it does have an alternate build. Build. I, honestly, it's really, really cool. They've been doing great jobs with the gift with purchase, so I'm excited to spend some money after the Christmas season and get this. There was a leaked set of botanical line, and this time there's going to be a new bouquet, and there's also this really cool kind of wall art, and I guess table art style of Lego flowers. It's kind of dried flowers. Um, it's, it's a wreath style, but it's long. Uh, you can put it on your tabletop, and I believe it does have a little section that you can hang it on a hook on the wall. It's, it's very unique, and I think that's a really cool way of doing it. It's kind of like a dried flower scene as they've done some living flowers. Um, I, I know the botanical series has continued to grow and grow and been very popular so I'm excited to see how these will turn out in person I mean they look great in images uh, I expect that they'll be released sometime early January or into February about four or five months ago we talked about a cool little uh, computer screened Lego where it actually has a working computer screen in it it was an OLED screen that showed the the same style of design that the original bricks had, but they are active and animated. Well, 
the uh, creator of that actually has dropped a video where I'll show you how to do that. His name Ancient or James Brown has dropped a YouTube video showing how he built his Raspberry Pi and installed it and then using a um, battery brick to power it. I'm going to put that in the description so you can check it out. Maybe you'll build one of your own and you'll have your own little uh, panels in your spaceship or wherever you want to put them. I would love to see him do like the uh, uh, like a space style of the screen, the clear screens that they've done. Uh, maybe um, he can make another smaller Raspberry Pi device to do that as well. We all love Christmas and we all love Lego, or well, at least some of us do, and some of us more so than others. Um, there's a couple in Cambridgeshire, which I don't know if that sounds British at all, but to me it very much does. Uh, Mike Anderson, 64, and Catherine Waitman, 59, created this entire wall, 12-foot-tall wall, of a Christmas tree complete with fireplace and tree in their sitting room. Previously, they did a 20-foot-long London bridge and a 12-foot-tall replica of the Eli Cathedral. This set is, uh, well, it's not a set, excuse me. It's a giant wall. It's a brick wall uh, where it has a full-size fireplace style with some stockings hanging. They even have a shelf that they put winter village sets on. The Christmas tree is, well, standard Christmas tree style. It's got a lot of decorations and presents under the tree. And one of those spinning, like, candle things that German, um, from the German markets, I don't remember what it's called, but it's extremely festive. Um, super cool creation. I'll actually share a video so you can see what they did. Um, they actually have Santa coming out of the fireplace. All in all, a very unique design and wonderful way to spend the holidays building Lego. When the latest collectible minifigure series came out, we saw a new classic space figure in the color brown, which was brand new and everyone was really excited because it added to their collection. Um, well, it seems that we already knew about it if you had paid attention. During the Rebuild the World advertisement that LEGO had put out earlier this, um, this fall, they showed a purple and brown a spaceman walking across the the scene. So we already got to see bits and pieces of it already, but it's still a nice surprise to have this and even the little baby spaceman because then you can line them all up on the everything is awesome uh, diagram with the different colors so you can have all the classic spacemen that you will have collected over this time period so that you can show off your classic space theme that you love and uh, uh, well enjoy. So Avatar The Way of Water has just come out, and I thought it was absolutely stunning, a great film, and I recommend everyone go see it right now, and maybe even twice, because I've been trying to, it's just the schedules have been very difficult. But with that, there are some minifigures, as you know, that are the uh, Navi, which are a little bit taller than normal Lego minifigures, and a lot of people tried to connect that the legs were the same as Jesse and Woody from the older style from the Toy Story sets. But... It is a little different because due to standards and different changes over the past decade, they had to go and change them. Now, not major changes, but uh, they said it's a basically making an element from scratch. Of course, we still have the former geometrics from the old Toy Story minifigures, but there's a variety of aspects that have been dealt over the years, the molding material standards and so on. The combination of all of these add up to a valuable knowledge for past years. And that's okay. I I don't care if they're new or old legs. They look great, and I think they did a great job with the Navi. And it's a brand new minifigure style. So if you love collecting the different minifigures, this is the one that you'll have to get to um, finish off that collection. We're doing a lot of world records again. This time in Tel Aviv, they built the largest menorah. And at the Tel Aviv de Zangof Center shopping mall, they built this massive Lego uh, menorah. It's 136,000 uh, single bricks, and they will actually finish it on the 26th of the month um, with all of these amazing uh, builds that they're doing. It's, it's just crazy. So the previous record was four meters tall, four meters wide, and 13 feet tall, 13 or 13 feet tall, 13 feet wide. Now this is going to be 4.5 meters in height, 4.4 meters in width. Do the math. That's what, uh, like 15 feet 15, uh, or more like 16. Either way, it is uh, a very, very impressive build and a Great accomplishment for Hanukkah time frame and in Tel Aviv. So if you're in the area in Tel Aviv during this holiday season, it'd be fun to go see. 
Lego's Innovation Park is constantly changing and expanding as more and more people come to work for the company and a lot of new spaces need to be created. So they're actually doing a revamp to Innovation Park in Billund. They're talking about a new campus will be home to thousands of new uh, talented colleagues working with product marketing and development functions and supporting engineering and quality functions, as well as a creative workplace environment. And it's going to break around in 2024 and finish up by 2027. So you might be working in a new building if you head out that way in the next couple of years. That'll be really cool to continue to be part of the innovation that Lego continues to do year end after year end and as they continue to expand globally. The Chinese Lunar New Year is just around the corner, and we've talked about the sets previously that there's going to be the Lego New Year's display piece and the parade as well as a, um, well, the, the, the rabbit, which usually comes with the gift of purchase since it's the year of the rabbit. And I think there was another one, a four plus uh, set. They'll be available very soon, so you can uh, enjoy building those uh, during your Lunar New Year time frame. But they're also a great addition to any Christmas uh, style, as last year they had the ice skate rink, which I still want to get, because I think that's a really cool idea, and I wish they would do that for uh, this year's, but maybe they'll do it next year for the Winter Village series. Well, it's time to not invest in the stock market, although it is down, so my wife would say otherwise, but don't listen to her. I recommend that you go out and buy some more Lego because Lego investments are booming. As the market continues its downturn, Lego continues to go up no matter what. End over end each year, they say it's between 10 to 12% increase in price for Lego sets. So why not continue to buy more and more? We've started to a little bit here and there, but the Wall Street Journal actually did a deep dive with some people who do this, well, casually and for a living. It'll show you here's a how-to guide, and I'll post the link in the description to their article. It's a great little video to understand how to do it if you're interested, um, but just uh, sell to those noobs that have no idea. Don't sell to major collectors because uh, we hate resellers and just kidding. Some people, that's what you do. Um, a lot of people buy two sets so that they can keep one and resell the other, and that's quite all right. You can do exactly as you please. The ones that are rare and hard to find, unfortunately, those those people I don't like because I want those sets as well. If you live in Ireland or the UK, it's time to get building so that you can win a year's supply of Lego sets. Yep, you heard me right. Lego Masters is trying to get everyone encouraged and excited for the Lego Masters return to the UK. Now, this is what's stated for the contest. It was on Twitter. Are you ready for our Build Like a Master UK and Ireland competition. Build a vehicle from Lego bricks and share on social with hashtag build like a master for a chance to win awesome Lego prizes. TNCs uh, apply. So if you're interested in building a car, this is a great way to go and get some free Lego sets to celebrate their Channel 4's uh, Celebrity Master Builders for Christmas. Uh, we're inviting you to take part in our Masters Challenge where you can win an incredible prize of the year's supply of Lego sets. I wish I lived in Britain and uh, UK and Ireland right now because I would totally do this. I would build like 1,800 cars just so I could win and get something like that. So make sure to sign up and do the contest. On LEGO VIP, they do a lot of different drawings. And the drawing this time is for The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. It's uh, Bard the Bowman is a, was a, well, he was a gift or no. He was a exclusive for San Diego Comic-Con. And now you can get an authentic version, which it's rated, actually. I think it says 95 out of 100. And you can put your name in. Um, I think for right now, it's selling for about $400 for 50 points. Uh, each, you can enter this contest at max of 50 times. That's, that's quite a lot of times. I've never entered in these soup stakes because, well, I have, but understanding that I'm just never going to win. It's just something to throw one or two things out so maybe I can win. But hey, you should totally do it so that you get the chance to maybe win it too. Each year, the LEGO group comes out with a set for their employees. And this year, to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the LEGO Friendship, they're releasing this fireplace. Now, it's a pretty, pretty large fireplace. It has um, the 
I think one uh, mini figure, or excuse me, friend's figure that is standing in front of this fireplace. And it looks like she can walk into it and stand with 10 of her friends. It does have four different stockings on top. It has a couple gifts on the mantle, a wreath, and then four more stockings up top. And then a present up top with two candy canes. Very active, very colorful. And for LEGO Ambassadors, they are also have the privilege of re, uh, blah, 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 receiving this set. I do not hold a LEGO Ambassador membership yet. That is my goal for next year. So I'm going to be working very, very hard to do that. But um, it's it's nice. I more appreciate the candy cane striped uh, um, Star Wars X-Wing of the last couple of years. And I think they came out with... A really cool like toy um, maker workshop. So if you're a big fan of the Friends series, you might be able to get this on eBay for like $700. If you head over to a Target store or Target online, some of their sets are at a discount of 50% off. Now it's not many, I think there's like six total, but one of the most notable ones is the latest set from the Black Panther War on the Water, which is their large ship against Namor, uh, or Namor, and it has Ironheart and a couple of other figures and having it 50% off. That's pretty crazy. I, I don't know if it's just not popular and I guess it's okay. It's an interesting set, but I, I'm not going to get it myself even at 50% off. Although for a piece count, that's a pretty good price. If you're a big uh, fan of Wakanda forever, this is a nice set to get if you didn't get it already, or you can, uh, well buy this as well. So I'd like to redact something I said last week. The Lego Con is not going to happen for 2023. And honestly, I'm not sure why. They had great success, much success in 2022. So why aren't they continuing it? Was it a lot of pressure? Was it a lot of work with not a lot of people viewing? And that does come down to their marketing from the first one, which wasn't great. Second one was better. But not a lot of people probably tuned in. So they're probably just backing off and trying a different marketing strategy. And I can understand that, but I'm a little disappointed. I enjoyed it enough this past year that I was looking forward to the one for 2023. Just like they did with their Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, Amazon has already put up some discounted Lego sets for their New Year's sales. There are two sets of note. One is the UCS Republic gunship, actually is rated at is discounted at 13% off, so $344. And the Stratocaster, which is the LEGO idea set, it is down 34% um, at $100. If you like either of these sets, which I do like the Republic Gunship, but I also like LEGO VIP points, I don't know. That's a good savings. I wish I would have bought it at $350 before it jumped to $400. It is one of the sets that I, I expect will be retiring this next year, and it is part of my childhood. The Clone Wars was when I was young. And the I also saw The Phantom Menace and, of course, The Revenge of the Sith, all great movies with some up and ups and downs like any films. Uh, so you can go out and get these at Amazon.com right now, and I'll put the links in the description so you can go and purchase those if you wish. This year, LEGO did something different for their LEGO Masters program, where they added a Celebrity Holiday Bricktacular Special. Now, the championship of this three-day event will get the chance to donate $20,000 to their favorite charity. I actually will be listing some charities that you can donate to at the end of this episode. And through this event, the, the builders went about creating designs and things that are uh, focused around the holiday season. And the winners of this week were Boone, who was the winner of the first season of the Lego Masters, and Robin Thick. So they had the chance to create some really cool designs, and having this, they get an advantage for the next part of the special segment. I'm interested to see what they'll be building next as they continue to advance. And, um, well, I think he has a big advantage having somebody like Boone, who is a Lego Master Builder, out in Billund. Uh, he just accepted that job this year. So it's really fun. And um, I, I'm, I'm excited for this. This is similar to how I said for the Great British Baking, they do something for the Christmas season with celebrities. And it's a good way to interact with um, the bigger name group and getting Lego even more publicity. Lego is kicking off this really fun activity that they did last year, and I guess they're well going to continue it. And I, I think it's really fun for the whole family. On December 27th, this 
year, they're doing the Global Lego Build Day. And they will. Con- uh, this is a continuation, as I said, from last year. Uh, what they're doing is a pick, uh, the Pickup Brickathon, a Lego Laugh Off, and the Lego Build Day official certificate. You can get those over at the Build Day launch page, which I'll post in the description. And you can do different scoreboards, different awards, as well as random idea generators. So you can go and build some really cool creative um, options uh, with the whole family. I will probably not be doing this, maybe just me and my wife, as we'll be traveling home that day, and I'll do it once we get home. But I hope that everybody else does. This is an interesting way of taking all those Lego sets that you bought and building together, or just finding some bricks and pieces around the house to do that. I uh, I don't know if my parents would ever participate, but I think if I forced them to, they would. So make sure you try to force your parents and your siblings and all of them to play as well. Lego video games are continuing to be more and more popular, and one that was released on Steam and is also now in the Epic Game Store is the Lego Builder's Journey. Now, this is a $20 set, or excuse me, a $20 set, a $20 game uh, that has this really cool um, 3D engine that you can build and do puzzles with these uh, one-by-one tile pieces that are your characters uh, to, well, go against different obstacles. And it, it is... Uh, a puzzle game and adventure and it's uh free right now for your microsoft platform i do i have a desktop so i'll be playing it on that i do not have a steam deck though i kind of am interested in it now um seeing as i can do some fun games that i've wanted to for a while anyways it is free um and i would definitely go get it and if it, it i think it was for only 24 hours so hopefully it's still going on but have fun playing it and maybe they'll do a discount again for the christmas season after this and our final bit of news is concerning lego charities as it is the time of giving this is a wonderful opportunity to give not only your creativity but lego sets and um, pieces and parts to all people around the globe and support creativity and imagination so there are five i will have listed Uh, Little Bricks Charity, which I spoke about this past episode, Creation for Charity, the Brick Dreams, Lego for Charity, and the Lego, uh, excuse me, the Giving Brick. All of these are listed in the description. You can check them out, and they do have different uh, ways of donating. Uh, Some are purchasing sets, some are buying uh, blocks and um, just random bricks, cleaning them and giving them uh, to members in the community. So you can also provide to the Lego Foundation as well, which works with UNICEF for worldwide support. All great proceeds um, or charities that their proceeds are helping um, provide imagination uh, around the globe. So make sure to go out and support those during this holiday season. Well, that's all the breaking news we have this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. I will be back with you next week to talk a little bit more about the breaking news for our final episode of 2022. And then we'll be walking into 2023, hopefully better than the last as we ask for every year. Um, Make sure to post all the cool uh, Lego sets you get the build and for the Lego build day. And also make sure to subscribe to the podcast. As I always say, make sure to follow us on Back to Brick 2. And, uh, well, yeah, just uh, continue in the spirit of Lego. I'm going to continue right now into, instead of a set review, we're going to do five sets that I believe are the best Lego sets that you should um, try to find under your tree or put it under somebody else's tree. This year, there were over 900 sets produced. And, well, some of them weren't just sets. Some of them were uh, like storage and plush and keychains. But these are my top five that I think would be great to see under my tree. One is going to be the 10297 Boutique Hotel. This is one of the modular sets, and it's just such a creative design where they make it a corner unit where uh, the hotel's got beautiful coloring, the uh, copper style um, seafoam green roof. They've got a cream colored uh, in uh, mid level. Uh, It also has the little store on the side and the palm tree. I think that this is one of their most creative that they've done. It's super detailed on the outside. The inside's not bad either. And having a hotel part of your modular series is a callback to the first round where they did a hotel. And uh, with a set this price at $230, it did go up. Uh, I still think it's a great value for it. And putting it in your collection is uh, definitely really cool. And it'll be a year uh, since it came out since it came out as January 1st of 2022. 
Set number four is 10497, the Galaxy Explorer. This is a callback to the Classic Space series, and I think they've done a wonderful job. It is far bigger than the original. I think it's twice the size, but the detail is, is just amazing. The design that they did with the curvature on the wing tips and everything, having it open up with a ramp in the back, and having it also be only $100. It's a great entry level to the 90th anniversary of LEGO and um, having the classic Spaceman. It kind of wraps up all the best uh, well, styles and uh, callbacks for LEGO. And having it such a cool build, I was able to get it pretty, I mean, pretty early because they had so many because they knew it'd be super popular and if you haven't gotten this set yet and you've been a huge fan of lego for a long time i highly highly recommend this one set number three is set seven six nine one one double oh seven alston martin db5 it's a smaller set we're only coming at a cost of twenty dollars but it has um daniel craig it's james bond you have different name plates on it and it looks just like it it's it's not the most um what would you say uh super accurate on some of the details as uh, stickers but it's a really cool little set having a callback to the james bond franchise and uh continuing with this i hope they do like a more modern aston martin or the lotus as they had in some of the movies those are iconic uh, but this is a nice little set from the um uh, supercar or sports cars excuse me speed champion series Set number two is 75330, the Dagobah Jedi training diorama. And Lego bringing these dioramas, I think, was awesome because they have some unique aspects to it. They're easily displayed, and they have iconic scenes that we all know and love. Having R2-D2 with mud on him and the partial X-Wing sticking out of the water and the hut having it, it's perfectly scaled and just all the detail, I think, is great. And having the quote, do or do not, there is no try. This set comes in at a cost of ninety dollars, um, and I believe did that go up? I can't, I can't actually remember. But for Star Wars lovers, this is a great entry to the diorama series. Is there can they continue more and more from the iconic, well, scenes from Star Wars? And set number one is going to be seven six nine eight nine, the Horizon Forbidden West Tall Neck. This came out of left field. Did not know that they had an agreement to make something from uh, the Horizon series. And it's beautiful. I, I love this. It's an iconic um, creature. I hope that they do the Razorback or whatever the other giant like Veloc or no, no, T-Rex style is. But it's it's not normal of Lego. And at the cost of $90, that also, I believe, went up. It's just, it's a beautiful style and set and a callback to some uh, a famous, well, not famous, it's very well known and highly reviewed video game so i recommend this uh i remember it was out of stock for three months this is just a cool set and i'm so glad that i own it i need to build it and display it on my desk those are my top five some honorable mentions are the series 23 minifigures as they allow a christmas ones which i appreciate uh having a thanksgiving turkey also because they don't really do turkey uh set or thanksgiving sets very often the ucs razor crest they did a beautiful design with it, very stable, looks super accurate. Um, a little too early to make it personally, but I did. Uh, I think I did get it this year, so I'm excited to build that. And the loop coaster, because everyone was asking for something like this um, to have the roller coaster with loops in it and having this cool mechanism that it does pretty much every aspect of the movement for the train. All really great sets this year, and as I said, this is just five plus a couple honorable mentions of 900. So there's probably a lot out there that you like more than and what I said, and that is perfectly fine, and I hope there are. And I hope that you've enjoyed this year in LEGO, and we'll talk just before the end about some more LEGO news. And that's all I have, so I'll leave you get as creative, I always do. Get out there and go build something. <laughs>